we are doing a review on this little baby here. This is an LED, or it says LED ceiling light, but this is an LED video light. It's designed to be portable, so it should fit nicely in your pocket. It's designed for cameras and camcorders, but I'm going to be using it for my webcam to give it a bit more light and maybe even a bit of colour. So we're going to do, obviously, the unboxing. Nothing really to look around the outside, and we're going to give it a test and see how bright and how powerful it is, and then go through some of the specs, okay? So with that, I'll go and get a knife so we can cut her open. Right, so that is everything you get in the box. I will quickly go through everything and then we'll talk about the main unit. So you get a USB charging cable and I've already measured it up just to save a bit of time. It's just under one metre long. And it feels like just, you know, good quality but it doesn't feel like it's going to break. So get that out of the way. We have the instructions and I am going to go through the instructions because it tells you about all the special effects. So we'll quickly go through that. We have a carry case, and that looks quite nice actually. I quite like the uh, red stripe on the black. It looks quite good. So main unit in there, and all your bits and bobs in there. Let's get that out of the way. We have this little baby, little cold shoe thing, and it's quite easy to do. It's quite easy to do. It's quite easy to do. So you just basically screw that like that and that tightens it up to whatever position you want it in or if you want to move it about just undo it yeah, it's a little bit weird not seen one like this before but that's how it works yeah so like i said we're going to go through the instructions now and there is a reason for this because it tells you about all the special effects and there's quite a few actually there's about 21 in all where are we so here they are so you have three options you have cct mode HSL mode and effects. Basically, if you want to do your own colours, you would choose one of these and do your own brightness, you would choose one of these. But apart from that, if you just want the special effects, you would choose one of these. So like I said, it has about 21. It says 21 kinds. It says 21 kinds of scene effects. There you go. So I'm going to quickly run through them. So group A, you have flash, flash fast, TV screen. Candle, flame one, flame two. Police, ambulance, fire truck, strobe light one, strobe light two, strobe light three, chase slow, chase mid, chase fast, firework one, firework two, firework three, club one, club two, romantic. That's what it says. It says romantic. So get them out of the way. So they're all done. But let's do the main body itself. So first of all, if you want to use a tripod, we have two options either there or on there and just to show you I've got a little tripod here so screw that in like that basically open up your tripod you can use a full size tripod I'm just showing you on my little tripod go like that job done yeah okay easy enough or you could use the little cold shoe this little baby here that will still screw in there and then you can screw that onto there if you wanted to or you can fix this to a camera because that's what that's for or a camcorder right so get all them bits that way let's talk about this main unit here so we have on the top we've had we have rgb no nope, sorry tail lights over there no nope, no tail lights over there i'll start again we have rgb we have on off and mode so there's your three options on the top we have an led display down there we have a color adjustment there and a brightness adjustment there and the charging port also from what i've read it does say you can charge up your devices like your phone or something like that you should be able to plug it into there and it should charge up your phone that's the way i read it i could be totally wrong but that's what it says so with that let's turn on so the middle button is the on off button so that is on so that is white and yellow 
and I should be able to adjust the brightness. I'll try and not get it in your face, but bottom one's brightness. There you go. I think that's, was it 5200K I think that went up to? I think it said. It's quite bright. I'm going to actually use this for my live stream. When I'm doing my live stream, I need extra light. So this would be perfect because I can adjust the brightness. And if I want, give it a bit more yellowy colour, like so. Or just go for white. Or a bit of both. See, does that make sense? Yeah? That's very good. <laughs> it's very blinding. So let's do the RGB first. I'm not sure what, if it'll do anything on this setting. But we'll have a look. No, I didn't think it would. No, it doesn't. So let's go to mode. So this is the mode selection. Don't forget the uh, display on the back. So we're at brightness level of 10. And we're at 4100K. So brightness level will go up to 100%. Yeah, or all the way down to 10%. I'm going to stick it on about 25, something like that. And then this one here goes 3,200 up to 5,600k. Okay, I knew it was something like that. So let's change the mode, and the mode is this one on the right. So what are we on? HSI. So that is at 25%, and that will give you a lot of red. If you turn that down, it goes to purple, as you can see, to bluey green and a ye bit of yellow there, and a bit more orangey red. And you should be able to go down to this one as well, which I believe, is that the middle button? No, is that the end button? Oh, it's the end button, that one. Yeah, so that is the RGB button. And you should be able to adjust that. But not on that one, you'll get. That one, there you go. So that will allow you to make your own colours, if that makes sense. There's only three colours on here, I believe. That's three colours, that's all you need. Right, so that's the HSI mode, and then we're going, oh, wrong button, then we're going over to the effects mode. So we're on police, as you can see, police. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. What else we've got? Oh, Wrong one, wrong button. So next mode is either that one or that one, I believe. Yeah. So flame two, flame one. Oh, we're going backwards then. So let's go the other way. So police, ambulance, fire truck. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll quickly turn off the studio lights so you get a better effect. Right, can you see it all right? Yeah, it does look better, doesn't it? So the one on the left, looking from behind, moves it forward and one on the right moves back strobe lighting three see that let's hold it up a bit and we've got chase slow so it's just going to go through random colors yeah chase middle so it should be a little bit faster and chase fast that works pretty well actually. Fireworks one. Well, I'm not sure what that does. Just looks like it's going through the colours at the moment. I suppose it represents the explosions in the sky, I don't know. I'm guessing. All right, club music, if you're at a disco and you want some disco effects, <laughs> this might be the baby for you. And romantic. Let's go back to the other second one. Just thinking, that's, you know, that's a head banging stuff, that one. <laughs> and romantic. Don't forget, you can adjust the settings here as well, or hopefully you can. You can adjust the brightness anyway, up to 100%. Flash, flash, oh, flash fast. And next one's TV, if I remember correctly. Yes. Don't forget, these are designed for, you know, making out that something's going on in the background, you know, that you can't see. Like the TV's on or something. If that makes sense. Candle. 
and a flame. We have a fire. Flame two. Place. And we're back where we are, aren't we? So that is all the uh, special effects, or effects as it says. Good, so if you put this behind a curtain or something like that, you know, and you're trying to do a scene, you can make out, like, the police have just turned up or an ambulance. That is the idea behind these special effects. And they work pretty well. So, CCT, that only does two colours. It does white and yellowy colour, yeah? So if you want to turn the white down or mix a bit of yellow in now, you can. And the other mode... HSI is for setting up if you want to do colour and you know adjust your brightness on the colour. Quite like that red actually. That's pretty good. Got a nice glow to it. Right, so that's it. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly set it up on a tripod and set up on this little tripod and I'm going to tell you what I think about it or not. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, whether you think you know, you would actually use one of these and what you would actually use it for. It'd be interesting to see what you're going to use it for. So with that, give me a second and uh, I'm going to have a little play about of it and see what I can do with it, if anything. I'll be back. Right, I've had it for a few days now and yes, I've been testing it out and I've been actually using it normally sits around about there, my webcam's up there and it just sits under there. You don't need it bright, you just need it to give you a bit of light, especially if you've got these lights turned off, which I do normally turn them off, especially if I'm live streaming, because I get a bit of a, like a halo effect coming over me. So I tend to turn them off. Normally I would use my studio lights, but they can be pretty overpowering, even when they're turned right down, they can still be a little bit too strong. Whereas this little baby, even though it's staring me in the face, it's quite, it's quite, what's the word I'm looking for? It's quite subtle, if you like. Yeah, it's quite subtle. It's a good word, actually. So, yeah, definitely works. It definitely works for me for doing my live streaming. Obviously, you might want it for a camera to sit on top of a camera, or you might want to add a bit of colour. Either way, this definitely is a good, for the amount of money it costs anyway, is a good little addition to add to your effects. Yeah, very pleased with it. Easy to use, yeah? Easy to operate and easy to navigate around it, as you can see when I was doing my little videos. Yeah, definitely gets my thumbs up, like I said, for the amount of money it costs. I think at the time of making this video, it's around about 34 pounds, something like that, 34 to 35 pounds. And it had been reduced from about 41 to 42 pounds, so not too expensive. Yeah, it definitely gives my thumbs up. You don't get a tripod with it. <laughs> this is my tripod, you're not having it. But definitely well worth the money. Like I said, come with a nice little case as well. Come with a little cold shoe so you can mount it on top of your camera. And yeah. Oh, and of course, you get a nice long lead, one metre or just under. So it definitely gives my thumbs up. Let me know in the comments whether you think this is a, a good idea, whether you use it like I've been using it for my live streaming, you know, have it like that, and I could be on fire. <laughs> yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, whether you like it or not. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.